Ooh, a parkour course. Well, I am pretty decent at parkour, so I might as well give this a try. And what is this sign? No sneaking allowed? Well, that's kind of weird, but I mean, I guess I can manage this. So let's jump here, 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 over here, up here, up here, past here, and here. Man, I really don't want to fall over here, because I'll have to start all the way at the beginning. I mean, I suppose if I were to sneak, no one would really know. I mean, they can't detect that. So, let's see. What? Did I, did I just get teleported back to the... Oh, I am so done with this. In today's video, we're going to be... Detecting if a player is sneaking in Minecraft. So this can be useful if you want to make a parkour map like I just showed in my intro. Or if you want to see if a player is building for some reason. Or any other action involving sneaking. So what we're going to do first is type in slash scoreboard. Objectives. Add. Sneaking, and then we're going to do minecraft.custom, minecraft.sneaktime. So basically what this objective is going to do is it's going to increase by one for every tick that the player is sneaking. Say you want to run a command for every tick that the player is sneaking. So what you want to do is place down a command block, set it to repeat, always active, and then you'll put slash execute as at a, so all players, scores equals sneaking equals one. So all players with a score of sneaking as one, then you'll do run tag at s add sneaking so that to repeat always active then we'll add a second command block which is gonna be chain always active and we'll do scoreboard players set at a sneaking zero so this is gonna reset the scoreboard so that it will detect when the player is done sneaking. So if we check our tags by doing slash tag at s list, we can see that we have no tags. When we sneak, do that again, we'll have a sneaking tag. So we can go over here, and here's where you'll put you'll put the commands that you want to run if the player is sneaking. So what I'm going to do is type in slash execute as at a tag equals sneaking and I'll do run say I am sneaking. I'll put that one on repeat always active and then I'll add the second command that says tag at a remove sneaking. So this is the command that you'll put after you put every command that you want to run. So I'll put that as a chain, always active. And as you can see, every time I sneak, it'll display this message for every tick that I'm sneaking in. So now let's say that you want the, the command to run once when the player is sneaking and not every tick. So what you're going to do is we're going to add a new parameter to this and we're going to type in tag does not equal sneaking. And now we're just going to punch out this command and now 
as you can see, it still runs once, but it's not going to run again. So we're going to fix that in a moment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add another tag. This is, let's call it already snuck. And we're going to add a parameter here. We're going to tag does not equal already snuck. And we're going to add a conditional command, which is going to just be say I am sneaking. We're going to set that to chain always active. And so now if we do slash tag at a remove already snuck, then it's going to run the command once. So what we need to do now is reset this command every time the player is done sneaking. So we're going to add two command blocks here. And we're going to put slash execute as at a scores equals sneaking equals zero run tag at s remove and we're going to put sneaking we'll set this to repeat and always active and we'll set this one to chain and always active and we're just going to copy and paste the command from here into this one. And we'll change this tag to already snuck. So now, if we set this to chain, every time we sneak, this command will go off once. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and sub, and I'll see you guys next time.